let's learn a new concept wherein we understand how to restrict parameter values using a concept called allowed values let's head over to visual studio code in our previous recording here by mistake instead of f1 as the sku name i tried using free so there are many app service plan pricing tiers so definitely as a human there is a chance that you might make some typo right so in this video we are going to learn how to avoid such mistakes before we start doing that let's create a parameter named PSKU name which is a string and let's use this here instead of hard coding the SKU name. So this app service plan dot bicep file which is a module which expects SKU name as the parameter and its main dot biceps responsibility to pass a value to this parameter so because we added a new parameter here definitely there will be an error in main dot bicep while calling the app service plan module as you can see here the params attribute is underlined with red color so we need to create a new parameter even here and then use it here and here you can pass any load SKU name right now we are using F1 here from here in main dot bicep it's possible to pass any value for example as we already seen that user can pass free as the SKU name which is not a load at all so now it's the module's responsibility to define what are the allowed values for this parameter in bicep it can be achieved very easily using something called as allowed values in order to implement that all you need to do is navigate to the parameter and above the parameter you need to specify something like this it starts with at the rate and as you can see here there are uh, six different items that can be implemented we are going to learn about the rest of them in the upcoming sessions in fact we already used secure right we will again discuss about secure as well but for now let me pick a load and you can see it says it accepts values whose type is array that means we can pass multiple values to this allowed function and because it accepts array we need to specify square brackets like this and then pass different values within that array let's start with f1 similarly it also accepts many other values for example b1 which is basic small then b2 which is basic medium and then basic large similarly there are many other search sku names that are allowed maybe if you want to understand more about these values you need to refer the documentation let's do a quick google search uh, let me head over to browser i just did a quick google search with this keyword and let me navigate to the first result which takes me to official 
Azure CLA documentation. Now, in this page, let me quickly search for F1. Let me also click next. Now, as you can see, these are the values that can be passed as input to the SKU name. So maybe you can use all this uh, in your code, but for now, I'm just going to use only a very few items. Let's copy paste this. Of course, I need to enclose them in single quotes. All right. Here are the items that are allowed as parameter values by anyone who is calling this module. So if main is passing F1, then it's allowed. Otherwise, it will not be allowed. For example, right now it is passing free. Let's now run the Azure CLA command to execute the bicep scripts. Let me hit enter. All right. The command took few seconds to execute. And as you can see here, we got an error saying that the deployment template validation failed. That means the action got failed during the validation of the template itself. It says the provided value free for the parameter called PSKU name is not valid. The parameter value is not part of allowed values. That means free is not allowed. The only values that are allowed are F1, B1, B2, B3, S1, S2, S3. So before doing the deployment, this action got failed while doing the validation itself. That's how the development, during the development time itself, we can configure what are the allowed values for some parameters. In this case, SKU name. That's how we can restrict by passing, that's how we can restrict the callers to pass only the predefined allowed values. That's it for now. In the next video, we will learn few more similar decorators and understand what are the significance of those decorators in real time. Thank you for now. Please feel free to provide feedback in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.